Well, this is my rant against uh, NPR in association with uh, BBC London. Okay, why? What they doing this morning? What they do? What they do this morning? Okay, let me uh, see if I can present it for you, because uh, I am a true presented, because they say they are presented, or presenters. So I'm going to uh, try to uh, mimic their presentation. Uh, I call them repeaters. <laughs> that is what they do. Okay, check this out. They got this woman. The, uh, she is from um, uh, Northern Africa, a, uh, a Muslim country where women must wear jihab or they cut their head off. Um, and uh, she was a model, a model, and she is in the United States of America, and uh, now she's no longer a model because she left everything behind for our, our, what they call it, activism, something like that. Anyhow, the lady is calling you America. When she came to America, uh, no, when she came to the United States of America, they give her all the opportunity and protected her from losing her head, from having a bathing suit <laughs> in, in a wrong way somewhere. So analyze what I'm just saying. So now they have this woman, right? But previous to that woman, they have a, uh, a senator, they uh, uh, voted for convicting Mr. Trump and he is sitting in the intelligence committee and this man is basically saying that we are Americans and that we need to develop some operational operational abilities against the United States of American nationals. I mean, this these NPR people, they are the enemy of the United States of America. And we need to go up there and check about who is this senator sitting, representing the people of the United States of America in the Intelligence Committee, why he is looking at his fellow man as an enemy. We need to find out why he is in NPR, in association with the BBC London, dividing us. So as you see, they getting the polit politicians to come into the radio, call you Americans, and tell you that some of you are the enemies of the United States of America, and some of you are idiots, because all you do is just talk. So analyze the data here. Go out there and listen to the show, because it is a show. It is no, it is no reality. They creating the reality for us, and why they utilizing this uh, lady from uh, from uh, uh, a Muslim nation to uh, tell us that we are Americans. And this transfer to reality and this is why I'm, I'm talking about NPR because the reality is the following yesterday I went in uh, I was at work and uh, uh, they instructed me to go to a, um, a uh, what they call it a wash a wash a wash is where they wash equipment they uh, uh, they keep the equipment clean and they have these companies that dedicate themselves to uh, uh, provide that service. And on these, uh, on these, on these places of, uh, uh, how can I say, centers of uh, commerce, you get, you get people from all over working, doing the same job that I do. And there was a fellow up there hanging out and I always establish conversation with people around. So I say, how are you? How, you? how your day is going? And he said that he was not doing so good because the weather and so on and so on. And then he asked me if I was a Jew. 
And I say to him, personally, I am not a you, but I do have families with names Hebrew. They are uh, from Spain and all Spanish people, they have uh, 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 identities from the, uh, uh, from the old Hispania and the Iberia Peninsula, on the Iberia Peninsula, uh, they became the uh, Kingdom of Spain. They were Sephardi Jews. And as you know, they all left the, uh, the Peninsula Iberica in the, uh, in, 14, in the 1490s, early 1500s. And he said, yes, that is why I ask you, because I know all about that. I'm from Turkey. I'm from Turkey, he said. So I say, you are from Turkey. Oh, okay. So let me ask you something. I asked the man, are you a United States of America citizen? And he said, yes, I am a United States of America citizen. So I say, let me ask you something, sir. Why are you tell me that you're from Turkey and you are a United States of America citizen? Do you know who is Bernardo Conde de Galvez? Of course, he don't know. So I started investigating a little further and it turned out that this man is a United States of America citizen because he was able to get through immigration and to get a job. The only thing that he got on his mind, the only thing that he's a United States of America national, a citizen of the United States of America, is to make some money here. He has no... Uh, interest whatsoever in the promotion in the support and the defense of the Constitution of the United States of America and me he was looking at me as his enemy and he told me so so that is what we have as uh, NPR distributors of information they are dividing us they are not transferring to people who come here from other nations to be part of our mix into defending one another no it's the opposite to be divided from one another and they present people already in Congress in uh, in representing us representing the United States of America already completely conditioned and they are in the intelligence committee so you guys are there in the CIA in the FBI in the DOJ you better you better look around and see who is leading you you better look around and see who the people of the United States of America are sending to lead us, represent us. It's been, it's been broken. It's been broken. This guy is a Republican. He say that he is. So I have to take it on his word. And he's sitting in the Intelligence Committee and he's running around NPR saying that we must develop actually ways to weed who is a true United States of America national and suppress them. Because let me tell you something, you guys up there, in every regeneration in the United States of America, including yours, whatever they call you these days, because they are signing you generation names like uh, uh, Generation X's and Millenniums and all these crazies and we have truly people who believe in the Constitution of the United States of America and they will defend it. And that is exactly what the question was. Do you think the Constitution of the United States of America was defended. And the guy said, well, I don't know. I wish everybody were voted the same as me to impeach Trump. But they did not. 
So that means the Constitution, it doesn't matter how the vote was defended, because that is what the Constitution say. Whatever the senators decide is what will happen. What we need to do now is find out who these senators are and why they dare calling me an American, dividing us. Be a NPR in association with the English. Never forget that you are not English. You are not Turk. You are no Jew. You are no Catholics. You are United States of American nationals. Remember that. Because when you start making crap in your head and creating your own crap in your head, you just going to become a follower, a follower of NPR because you're weak. Because you're a follower. Because you cannot formulate a strategy. And you're just a follower. You get up in the morning and you go to work and you look at the other guy as an inferior. And you should be looking at the other guy as your brother, as your sister. And when you're running around the United States of America, how ways? Make sure that when you look at the guy next door to you, that he is not your enemy. And that you are not a Turk if you are a United States of American national. You are what you are, a United States of American national. So go and defend it. So you guys are there on NPR, listen, you haven't won yet. You guys are there in uh, BBC London. You have been disinforming people now for quite a long time. And you still haven't won yet. It's a matter of fact that I believe that right now you are the uh, your weakest point you ever have been. Leaving the European Union, having as a prime minister, a man that was born in New York, passing as an Englishman. So you better go out there and look at yourself, you English people, and defend your nation, your archipelago. Defend your identity, your true identity, not the one the oligarch have given you. Defend the Irish, the Scots, in all the languages of those islands, beautiful islands. And not allow no Donald Trump want to be to destroy you. To put a golf court in Scotland and then don't want to pay for it. Well, saludos, and that is my rant for today. And uh, stay warm, that's all I say, people, stay warm. I don't know what the deal is with these rolling black owls. I think it's a strategy to make you fear, that's what I say. Saludos.